Last episode of the series. Who's <laughs> Shirtless, it's not that hot. Here it is, we made it. It's a wacky looking place. All right, we're grabbing a bite to eat today at one of Atlanta's most famous, most historic food challenge locations. A place called the Vortex. Sounds spooky. What is that when you go inside the ghost train? I've ever seen a place this heaving at like midday on a Monday, Monday afternoon. You can barely get a seat. Vomit bag, appropriate. Right, so this is the the wall of, of coronary bypass burgers, and this is the uh, the challenge that we're doing. And look, look who it is. Look who it is. We got Randy Santel and uh, my old buddy Nate from the uh, the pizza in, in Florida. What we got on there? Texas toast, grilled onions, sirloin patty, more Texas toast, American cheese. Dinner relish, whatever that is, and uh, eggs. I think that's everything. Have you ever seen anyone finish one of these? Oh, no, no. I don't think anyone has finished it, especially in the challenge, yeah. for like six years. Six years? Yeah, I think that we have the, wow. the guys on the wall, and they were yeah, the last people to finish it. Yeah, Randy, I know Randy, yeah. 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 So you got to finish the burger. It comes with a side of fries and tater tots, too, with cheese all over them, and the two 32-ounce drinks. In order to uh, complete the challenge. If you do, it's on the house and um, you get a t shirt, I think. They probably don't have t shirts though. And I do the best I can with the, the light. It's not ideal because I'm kind of secreted away in a little nook, a cranny in the corner of this building. But um, yeah, it, it might not look the greatest, but I'm sure that the burger's gonna taste good. If you could even call it a burger, that's really more like a sandwich if you ask me. I think if you had a really bad hangover, <laughs> that might help. Because you want the grease. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you recording? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Chow down. That's, I wish I got that. That was really enthusiastic. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from a uh, little town called Leeds in England. In the north. In the north. North England. Yeah, yeah. The north. <laughs> that, that was the highlight of the trip for me. Highlight of the trip so far is that guy taking the mickey out of my accent. Credit to him, though, because... Um, I think he has to be the first American I've ever met in my life who is not under the impression that every English person talks like there's some kind of peripheral member of the royal family or something. <laughs> Good fun, that's what it's all about. Anyway, today we're at a place called The Vortex in, uh, in Atlanta, and we're taking on their Super Stacker Challenge, which consists of one of their quadruple coronary bypass burgers accompanied by fries, tater tops, and some cheesy goo. If you finish it inside 30 minutes, it's free, and you get a sweet t-shirt too. You know, I hesitate to say it, but it tastes a little bit like a Five Guys. Well, yeah, I had kind of a Five Guysy. Five Guysy? That's not an adjective. A Five Guys-like aftertaste. <laughs> I'm not sure the burgers were quite as good, though. Oh, I've got meat in my nose. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. Nothing like a bit of meat in your schnoz to put a spanner in the works. It's all right though, I, I recovered promptly. Anyway, let's talk about the, uh, the, the rules of the challenge. You get 30 minutes to finish everything. Oh, that's not a flattering close up. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a bit 30 minutes to finish everything you see here, including the two 32 ounce drinks. Not entirely sure what that is in milliliters. That's how we do it in the rest of the civilized world. <laughs> a lot. They're two large drinks. And the burger itself is just a bunch of beef patties, cheese, bacon, eggs, sandwiched between many, many slices of Texas toast, which is kind of like, a, to me, a slightly drier version of French toast. Best of luck, brother. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that look because I've eaten a lot on the street. And this is, this is $80, $80 if you pay a lot. I don't know what's burger and what's not anymore. memory serves me right, I think that's the last of the burger. It's the bottom layer. I don't mind doing a close-up to camera. Hope you appreciate it, though. <laughs> um, $80? $80? It sounds like it, it is a lot, actually. It's, it's a lot, but you, you're kind of paying for the novelty of it. And it does taste good. It's, it's a, a well... Um, 
put together a burger, the Texas toast gives it something, something unique. I had to see. I heard you were good. Thank you. Good luck. Keep it up. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Yeah, I've heard that before. I'll, I'll try and keep it up. I'll try. <laughs> I don't know why they call it the coronary quadruple bypass burger. Oh, it's so rich. Who needs beard oil when you got burger grease? Hey man, I, I do prefer the scent of, uh, of burger grease compared to say forest pine or leather or you know any of those weird beard oil scents that you get. <laughs> Probably only the, the bearded folks out there understand that reference. But anyway, we're done with the burger now. Just the starch to go. I don't actually know how long I've been going. Nobody's come back to check on me. <laughs> yeah, too long, matey boy. Too long. I think the maddest thing about this is that in the space of six years, only two people have managed to defeat this. Randy and Nate. That's mad. Six years? I'm getting the feeling it's probably because the price tag puts people off to the point that nobody attempts it. Because <laughs> 80 bucks is a, it's a lot of money. I, would, I think Randy did it in 16, 17 minutes, which I think is going to be a bridge too far today. This is one of Randy's records. I don't think I'm going to crack. I did it on purpose. I didn't want him to have to replace that fancy plaque out there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was totally it. <laughs> Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little series and uh, get down in the comments, tell me where you want to see me next and I'll catch you back home in England. Oh, this trip is catching up with me. Oh. <laughs> Forgot the coke. <laughs> Can't fail because of the coke. It's got the coke left. <laughs> Finally, finally did the cook. <laughs> that's, I've never seen anyone finish it. Do you want a t shirt? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's, that'd yeah. be great, yeah. I appreciate that, thank you. That's fucking impressive. That's what I'm talking about. Eat burgers, not brains. Alright, you get to keep the record this time, Randy, old boy. But I'll get you next time.